This is the Finesse Media Podcast. What's up, kiddos, and also my frequent finessers. Welcome back to another episode of the Finesse Media Podcast, Season 6. And tonight I got the coolest finesser ever, my buddy Kai, breaking history as the youngest guest finessa on the finesse media podcast tonight we're diving into super fun stuff like cooking he's playing video games with his big bro we want to talk about that and cooking up a storm in the kitchen and exploring the space of his new youtube channel conversations it's going to be a blast so grab your snacks join the fun with me and my awesome buddy kai belt let's break some history welcome back welcome back to another week of the finesse media podcast i'm your host ken finesse media and as i mentioned to you each and every week i'm bringing you something brand new and may i pause this week and this month as we know it's black history month i'm bringing you someone brand new but someone who is bringing not only their finesse skills but they're bringing history joining me for the first time on the finesse media podcast he's the youngest Guest Vanessa that has ever graced this podcast, and I'm so happy and thrilled to talk with this young man on the podcast joining me today. He's an extraordinary media- meteorologist, big word, a scientist, a chef, and just a little dude that's doing big things. Welcome to the podcast for the first time, making history, Kai Coleman. What's going on, Doc? I'm excited for this, man. I love, I love this. Man. It's Listen. sick. He's listen, he's he's a natural talent. Kai, listen, I was scrolling through your Instagram. Really, let me just go back. I was scrolling through your mom's Instagram, and because I follow your mom on social media, and she's doing big things. So shout out to Sheena as well. And you gotta come on the podcast. But I was scrolling through her social media. Um and I saw you, I saw your video and you were kind of doing something with the weather. I'm showing it right now. And man, when I saw this video, Kai, I say, wait a minute, I have to tap into his mom and say. Is this real? Is he doing this on the side? Is he really serious and passionate? And she goes, absolutely. But looking through even your page, Chef Underpants on Instagram, Kai, tell the people, what got you into, I'm going to start because it's also food, but I'm going to start with the science and the the weather. What got you into it? What gave you the passion? My passion for weather really just started, I watched some YouTube videos, I watched some tutorials, then on in mid June, I got a weather app. It told me all where the rain was, all the snow was, everything. And when that when that red when that radar app, that radar app helped me just watch everything. Every single weather event that happened since June, I've been able to watch and watch. Yeah. It really start. It really sparked my uh, passion for weather. Yeah, ten years old, Kai. But what age did you start to have a love and a passion for weather? Really, I just started to. Love of weather when I was in my mid nine nine year old range, pretty much. They say in my mid nine, y'all hear that? Listen, this is a big guy with some big things that's happening. Chef Underpants, where did that name come from? Because that's when I went to your Instagram page and I started seeing all this other stuff. We will talk about the food, but Chef Underpants, how did you come up with that really creative name? So me and my mom, they, we always cook together sometimes. When we cook, I always cook in my underpants. <laughs> it's like a SpongeBob thing. I got four, I got three boys, and so they love watching SpongeBob. That wasn't a play. Did you take any of that influence from SpongeBob? Are you a SpongeBob SquarePants um, fan? Honestly, when I was young, I did used to watch SpongeBob SquarePants, but my name really didn't come from some SpongeBob. I just cook in my underpants a lot. <laughs> so you like to be comfortable say so we're gonna be in the kitchen because here's the thing i talked to a lot of foodies i had a couple uh, uh on a week before and what they did was what they're talking about is food they're into soul food so if you put that love into food uh i know i know it's going to be good let's talk about that because uh chef underpants if i may call you that throughout the interview as i switch it over just quickly uh to your food you like to cook in the kitchen with your mom what's some of the best dishes that you and your mom have made together um, we, we love making lemon paper cream pasta. Sometimes it's ground beef. It's made with some heavy cream, some chicken Wait a broth, minute, wait a minute, shallots. Mr. Chef Kyle Underpants. You said it's so good. <laughs> it sounded so, listen, I know people say, wait a minute, what was that? Say it again. What was that dish? We love making lemon paper cream pasta. 
Oh man, that sounds so delicious. Now, how do you make that? We use some heavy cream. We use some chicken broth, pour in the chicken broth. We got some shallots. We got some garlic. And then we also got some, what is it called? Uh, the capers, the capers. Man. And and I seen you. I, your mom's a master at work, right? As as mentioned, she you know holds it down and she cooks, and it's how I actually would introduce to your mom. But I saw you at the register when I was cooking. Well, she was cooking the food, and I think maybe you were also cooking the food as well, but also taking the orders as well. You, you may not men, remember that, but that was uh, the Frisco Market. Shout out to the Frisco Market here in Frisco, Texas. You were in, so you're not just in the kitchen cooking. You also can hold the register down. Mr. Mr. Chef Underpants. Yep. I I we opened a new restaurant a few a few weeks ago, pretty much. And when it when we did open it, we had a little tent. I was taking all those orders. <laughs> and I will believe it. I will believe it. I mean, because it's a busy location where I saw you at. I mean, and you were just very calm. And I didn't know you had that again talent to cook and do all those things. But I know, like, well, my boys, they love games as well, and too. So I, I read a little bit about you also loving to have this game powwow with your big brother. Talk me, talk to our, our, our viewers about that. What are some cool games you and your brother like to play? And kind of who's winning mostly? Is it you? Because you're holding it down in the kitchen. Are you holding it down in the gaming too? With your brother? My brother play a lot of video games together. Usually we play some Roblox video games. Yo. Uh, we play a lot of games on there. We play we play um, obstacle courses. We play, you know, uh, cool type <coughs> games where you can just build your restaurant and stuff. Yeah, we play a lot of games together. Usually who wins the game sometimes. It's kind of even between me and my brother Wes. Yeah. But yeah. That's cool. And when I said to a couple of people uh, that I was going to have you on, uh, Kai, to uh, it, you know talk about all the things you had going, they wanted to send me some questions. So is it okay that I can read a couple of questions I got for uh, some of my viewers who wanted to see you on this show? Yeah. All right. Let's pull up the first question. So someone says number and numbers and science can be puzzling, but you enjoy them. What's your favorite science project that made learning fun? And how do you spark excitement about science amongst your friends? At my school, we do a lot of math. And then math, we do fractions. Now, I just I just found fractions really sparking to my math ability. But it really all started back in 2018, 2019, when I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When I was in Wisconsin, I just used, on YouTube, I used to watch a YouTube channel they always showcase numbers on their channel. It was so cool. Man, that sounds like a lot of fun. And Milwaukee, Wisconsin is a nice place. Is that did you go when it was cold or was it the summertime? Speaking of the weather, how was the weather? Oh yeah, we we stayed there for like two years. Oh, we, okay. We experienced all type of weather there. Okay. Oh, yeah. And see, I'm from Chicago, so we're right up the street, Kai. You know that the weather is good up there in that Milwaukee area, isn't it? Yep. What's your favorite weather? What's your favorite time of the year? Because you've been in Milwaukee, so we have four seasons, as you know, being in the Midwest. What's your favorite season? I don't really like spring because, you know, allergy season yeah. and a lot of storms, too. Sometimes it can get annoying. Really, my favorite season is like fall autumn time zone. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? It's really that season? because, um, you know, I love I love just like playing in the leaves at school at recess. We all yeah. we all love playing the leaves. We also got some nice nice warm weather to enjoy. This is really yeah. nice in general. It was nice here today here in Texas, wasn't it? Yeah, it was seventy degrees, seventy seven. Yeah, and you know, if I had prepared you, and because I, I will put you on the bla on, on blast, you'll have to come back and do it. But we should have prepared a, a weather presentation because today was was it unseasonably warm? What would you say, real quick, if I had to ask you to just say real quick about the weather today, Kai? Maybe I am putting you on blast. But this, to me, I woke up this morning, Kai. I thought it was going to be cold. But as we mentioned, it was about 72 degrees, cumulus clouds. You know, what What would you say? How was the weather today? Was it unseasonably warm or is it the normal time for this year? Really? Because we just went a little bit more into the winter season. It's very unseasonably warm. Like, really, the normal temperature is probably supposed to be in its, like, late 50s, early, early 60s into the in terms of temperatures. But today we had 70, 75. 
It was really warm today, honestly. <laughs> that it was, Kai. Were you at, were you at school waiting to get out to kind of feel some of that weather? Oh yeah, in the morning it was a little bit. It was a little bit cool. Yeah. But as we got out of school, it felt nice. Yeah, I got one more question from. Um, I have one more question from uh, from my audience. So just give me one second. And I think it's what you talked about a little bit about being on YouTube. So this question comes in. They say, hey, Kai, your space theme YouTube channel is in is in intriguing. What motivated you to create it? And what's the most fascinating space topic you cover? I stumbled on it. Really? If you need me to reread it again, I will. I really like I really like the space topic because. Really, honestly, almost one, two years ago, probably in 2022, 2023, I used to watch, a, like, a lot of YouTube videos, again, kind of like weather. I used to read a lot of books. Like, at school, in, like, second, third grade, I used to read so many weather books. I mean, no, space books. And those space books, I even, I even went on my Chromebook and went to search out, like, what, how long is the universe and stuff. So it really just got me into space. Yeah. I really just got intrigued into space myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your page, as they mentioned, your uh, YouTube page. I'm subscribing. Um, and we got it down at the bottom, and, and we want people to go and check it out. But no, your your YouTube theme page is really good. Keep it going, Kai. Keep it going. And I'm going to keep it going with my final question. Not really a question, but it is something that I found on your social media page. So on this season of the Finesse Media Pie, what I'm doing, guess finessers which is you i'm going through their social media accounts and i'm pulling photos or videos um that you posted but i want to share with you so that you can share with me and my audience on what this photo was all about make sense yep all right cool so let me show you what i found on your social media page and you tell me what was all going on in this photo Here we all go. right Man, so in that photo, that was that was back in like 2020, 2022, maybe even 20, late 2021. I was I was playing a lot of basketball and I, I, I got a lot of I got a lot of cool um interactions with people on the bench. I got a lot of cool uh, basketball moments, too. We we're at the PSA, man. We we're having fun there. No, it looks like a lot of fun, Kai. So when I was scrolling through, and by the way, follow his Instagram page as well. It's a whole lot of fun and happening over there as well. So it took me a while to figure out what to grab because, again, you're into space and you're into, you know, weather in the kitchen. And you're also an athlete as well. So I wanted to pull that in and I wanted to say what was going on, Kai, in this photo. So thank you so much for sharing that. But maybe I got one more before I let you go. Each and every week on the Finesse Media Podcast, Kai, I ask my Finesse, which is you, the guest Finesse for this episode. Finesse's to me are people who I told you that is excelling in whatever career that they're in and have a deep passion about it. So again, I pulled you because I thought you were that person. You certainly a Finesse. But Kai, who's that person for you? Who's that person that you say that's finessing the game? Who comes to mind? Really? My mom inspired me a lot. YouTube channels really helped me throughout the journey, but my mom was really just there to help me all the time. That's dope. That's dope. And Kai, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have no other uh, way of saying that your mom is the best person uh, to have said for that answer because she is someone who I say I, I, she's not my mom, but I would love for her to have been my mom because she is someone who is finessing the game. Your mom is dope. She has her hands in so many different things. And so, yeah, I, I think you are uh, a great uh, Corbin copy of what your mom is. I have to say you are an improvement on her design and I wish nothing but the best for you. I know that things will continue to roll out. And for people who are being introduced to you for the first time, they're going to continue to support and su subscribe and to just be a part of your whole journey. I myself has started subscribing weeks and months ago, and I'll continue to give you the support and the space to come back on this podcast and talk about more stuff. You want to do that? That sounds really fun. I'd love for you to come back. I'd love for you to come back. I, I'll say to your mom, I know she's back there. Hopefully she's cheesy and proud. You don't have to say anything or come on camera, but I'll tell you, Sheena, this man is certainly amazing and someone truly finessing the game, breaking history, joining me for the first time on the Finesse Media Podcast as the young guest Vanessa. 
I listen, what other way to kick off Black History Month with a young, intelligent man like Kai Coleman? Or you can call him Underpants. Yep. <laughs> Chef Underpants, thank you so much for joining the podcast and thank you for watching this episode of the Finesse Media Podcast. And each and every week on the Finesse Media Podcast, we spotlight our HBCUs. So thank you for Landa Smith College out of Little Rock, Arkansas, for being our HBCU, our historically black college of the week. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week with something brand new. Peace. Peace. This has been another edition of the Finesse Media Podcast. Join us again next week for the latest news from HBCUs. Special guests.